Should I get LASIK eye surgery? Is it even safe? Am I even eligible? And how much is it going to cost? Those are some of the questions that I've been having for the past month or so. And I just wanna share with you what I'm thinking about right now. And so, yeah, let's talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad. Portable fold out chairs, useful. <laughs> All right, so um, I've been thinking about getting LASIK eye surgery for a couple of months now. And so I finally decided to set up a consultation. It'll be next Friday. I'm gonna be able to go in and get a full scan of the eye and talk with a surgeon for about two hours or so and see if I'm eligible. And you might be wondering why I might even want this though. A lot of you might not even know that I used to wear glasses and I should wear glasses. Um, if you watch some of my older videos, like all the way back like in 2017, you may see a few videos of me wearing glasses. And so I'm nearsighted. I have trouble seeing from far away. Things get blurry further away. But my eyesight isn't that bad. Like I'm still able to drive and function and do things and still enjoy everything I do. But in the past year or so, my vision has started to become a little worse. Things are slightly blurrier from further away, but the biggest issue that I'm having right now is astigmatism. And it took me a while to even figure out what I had and what astigmatism is actually and essentially basically astigmatism is where your eye is not a circular round ball anymore and instead its shape is uneven or more of like a football sort of shape astigmatism in your eye causes like double vision or blurry vision or it just kind of makes it so looking around is disorienting and so with my eyes right now the astigmatism has gone to the point where whenever i go out into big open spaces like this giant field here or like a building or any grocery stores that are really wide and open it gets really disorienting for me because, because I'm seeing objects with each eye in, at different angles almost. So if I were to close one eye like this and then open and close it back and forth like this, I'm looking at the camera and it shifts. And it shifts in a way where it's at an, a different angle. It's not shifting side to side like this, how it used to back then where if I did that, things in front of me would just shift back and forth like this. But now things are shifting, but it's like at different angles, almost like this, when I'm like changing eyes like this back and forth. And so when I have both my eyes open and when I try to focus on something, it doesn't really focus very well. And it's almost like I'm seeing two different images of the same item. And lately it's just caused me to feel really uncomfortable walking around looking at things or just trying to enjoy nature outdoors or just going shopping even. Things just don't look right to me and it's been frustrating. And so I've done a lot of research and everything. I've watched videos on whether it's safe or not. And there are a lot of like bad stories about people having LASIK and then it goes south and it goes bad and their vision goes bad. But those are sort of like one-off stories. All of the people that I've spoke to that has had LASIK, I know personally, and I've been able to talk to like 12 different people. And all of them have been able to have successful surgeries with no problems at all. And all their side effects have been pretty much the same. And I know 12 people isn't like a ton, but that's still a lot to me. And I feel like I can trust their sort of like review on LASIK surgery. And so I set up an appointment for a consultation. It's a free consultation. They'll be able to speak with me for two hours on everything thing about my eyes, my health and stuff like that to see if I'm eligible. Um, one of the issues that I had was uh, there was a list of eligibility points. It was just a generic one. And one of them said that you have to have had 
been wearing glasses or contacts in the past year or so. But for me, I haven't been wearing my glasses for the past five to six years or so. Um, I don't wear glasses consistently because I don't really need them. But at this point, I do want my vision to be a bit better where I can see people's faces from afar, where I'm able to read things from afar, and so that my astigmatism gets fixed. <clears throat> and so that's why I want this surgery. And another point was how much is it going to cost? And I've always known LASIK to be a pretty costly procedure because it's a cosmetic procedure for the most part. It's nothing like, I, I'm not in like dire needs to actually get this surgery done, but I feel like I'm at the point where doing the surgery will help improve the quality of my life to a point where, <laughs> Raven, no, 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 stop it, stop it. It's... Raven started rolling around on the ground and hitting the tripod. <laughs> okay, good girl, stay. So yeah, like I feel like it'll improve the quality of my life, especially when tr just doing everyday activities, just going shopping even, or just going somewhere to enjoy my time and not worry about like, hey, my eyes aren't focusing on that, or it's just disorienting when I'm moving around and stuff. Um, and so my vision impacts my mental health quite a lot. And so I think this is a good thing to do at this point. But the price, uh, I asked them and they said that it's going to be $4,200. And I don't want to simply just drop $4,200 like that because I could definitely use that, pay my bills or pay other things, you know. And so what I ended up doing was I applied for care credit i believe and i got approved for 4400 <laughs> and so just 200 dollars more which is perfect uh because they said that i'll need to like buy eye drops and a bunch of other stuff um and so it might be a little bit more but for the most part the procedure the lifetime guarantee and everything else that has to do with the procedure uh, it all costs 4200 flat yeah, that's a lot of money. And so I'm glad that I was able to get that care credit thing because it's going to allow me to pay uh, the 4,200 within like a span of 12 months or 24 months or something like that with zero interest. So that, <laughs> that lightens the load a lot on me. <laughs> and uh, I originally wanted to get all of this done before I visit Los Angeles for Vid Summit. So if you've seen my other video, I'll post a link to it up here maybe, and you can watch it if you click on that. But essentially I'm going to Vid Summit and I've never been to Los Angeles and I wanted to get LASIK before that. So that way I can go and enjoy myself and not worry about my vision and stuff like that. Um, but that's not going to happen because they don't have any appointments available uh, before I go. So like my consultation is next week, Friday. And so I'll go then. And then the next open surgery date is the 29th or something like that. And I would have already left on like the 27th, I think. Um, and so, yeah, it's a, it's, it's a bummer, but it's okay. It's a bummer that I can't get the operation done beforehand, but it's not a big deal. I'm still happy that I'm going through the whole thing and hopefully I'm actually eligible. I won't actually know until next week, but I just want to share this with you. But yeah, I'm going to keep you updated. Hopefully this video was helpful in some way. Maybe this video is a deciding factor for you to get uh, LASIK also. And so I'm just going to document my process. If you have any questions, just let me know. Uh, if you have had LASIK surgery and it's been successful and you want to share more information about it, just leave it down in the comments below. I appreciate it a lot. But yeah, um, Raven and I are just going to go for a walk into the woods. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time. All right. <laughs> Peace out. <coughs> And this chair here that I got is the Helinox. It's like one pound and it's very, very lightweight and it's nice. I like it a lot. So instead of like kneeling down to make my video or sitting on the ground, sitting down on this chair here is so much more comfortable. <clears throat> and I'll make a dedicated video on this chair um, when I get a chance. <laughs> but yeah, it just unfolds like this just stuffs in this small bag 
And this just folds up and you can just stuff it in also. And perfect. And so something like this, carry around on your backpack is perfect. Like just an extra pound is not gonna make that much of a difference. If you're carrying around 35 pounds, 36 pounds is not gonna make a difference. You know, if it was 50 pounds, 51 pounds, not gonna even feel it. I appreciate you watching. Please smash that like button. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. And I will see you next time. Peace out. Gotta go back to grab the camera. <laughs>